diamonds in my VVs. And no nigga gave me shit for free. 30K on Johnny Dane. I ain't even picked up my teeth. Spent 200K on a double R. I want a spelling bee. Bust down Carter, not a whole bar. She look your mixtape to the weird shit. She came in, that's when the screens went up. Niggas talking stupid deals like I ain't got my own bucks. Fofo, two drop. All art that drop too. Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Thank y'all for tuning in with another episode of Trap Etiquette. I'm your host, Captain Kurt. What's poppin', y'all? Happy Friday to everybody. I hope everybody's having a great Friday. It's beautiful out here in sunny Florida. But I want to get right into this thing, man. We got another up-and-coming rapper, BTB Savage, was killed last night, man. You know, it's probably most likely due to this recent this recent interview he did on Vlad. I actually got that for y'all, but I just got the audio, but it's kind of long. And I also got some of the pictures that he posted to social media that was actually part of the reason why he was killed as well. But you know, like I tell these guys, man, you know, all the young people, you know, you gotta watch what you put on social media, no matter how much fame or how much clout you think it's gonna get you. Sometimes, you know, that stuff is just, you know, it just needs to be left out. You know what I mean? Especially when somebody dies, you know, when somebody dies, like, you know, that's something you really don't want to play with. Just like you got all these rappers taunting dead rappers. You know, where I come from, you never supposed to speak ill of the dead. You know, whether y'all was enemies or not, if y'all had bad blood, if somebody happened to die, whether you had anything to do with it, you know, just let that man rest in peace. That's why they call it rest in peace. You know, you got to let him rest. You got to let that go because we all got to die someday. You know, so keep that in mind. But with no further ado, let's get into this thing so we can definitely get a discussion started in the comments. So make sure y'all stay all the way to the end. And thanks for everybody who's been subscribing and clicking in to the channel. But with no further ado, let's get it. I mean, essentially, there's still blood all over your apartment. Yeah, they, they, just, they didn't even clean up. They just grabbed them and left. Okay. Have you cleaned up the apartment since then? Yeah. Cleaned up and left. Yeah, they for sure might do, they might do what they do, but I'm gonna get active. That's all it is, and it is what it is. It's on the floor. It'll be smoke forever. Fuck, to be honest. Right. So you've now moved out of that apartment, right? Yeah. Are you moving out of the city? No. No, nah, I'm gonna stay in the city. They're not like that for real. They got them. <laughs> they broke. Oh yeah. One of me is like twenty of them. You talking money wise. Mm. So it's no it's not it's just not worry about it. Police say a man was shot and killed in what they believe was a targeted attack. This morning, they're still looking for the gunman. Now, the shooting happened near Mid Lane and San Philippi. Uh, Brittany Jeffers is live with us to tell us more information about the victim. Brittany, good morning. And good morning to you. Now, Houston police tell us that the victim is a rapper. They say a man in his 20s, although they wouldn't go into detail how they knew this was a targeted attack, but say that this was based off of evidence from the scene. Now, according to detectives, they say this drive by shooting happened happened around 6:10 last night. HPD says that witnesses tell them two men in a black Subaru started firing at the victim's vehicle. Police say that multiple shots were fired and evidence markers showed dozens of shell casings on the ground. According to police, the two suspects fled uh, along San Filippi and they say the victim died at the scene. And what makes you believe it was targeted? Uh, based on our, our experience and it's a few things that I, I just don't want to go into right now, uh, it's not random. So again, this morning, police still looking for those suspects. They tell us they believe that they were wearing black hoodies, possibly with shades on and were driving a black Subaru. Now, detectives tell us they're going to continue to review surveillance video. But if you are in the area, if you have any information that might help with this investigation, HPD says that they would like you to call them. Live from the newsroom, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. All right, Brittany, thank you for that update. Five yeah, man, so what y'all think about that, man? You see, and, and I see the most fatal mistake that this guy made is how he was saying these guys wasn't like that and they're broke and this and that. But you also have to realize you got on Vlad TV and you 
gave a, a picture of this man's last moment and like he said he has kids he got family who love him so it's almost like you adding fuel to the fire you know you should just be happy to been and made it through this situation with your life your son was okay your female that was with you was okay you know and, and that be it and just move on but you know you guys just got to get on social media you want to taunt people you want to do all this extra stuff like i said you adding fuel to the fire you know what i mean but you just should have just been humble and laid back and the first thing vlad asked you did you move or was you leaving from the state and you like nah you wasn't leaving because they wasn't like that you never know how people are you can't underestimate your ops you can never underestimate your ops but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment man thank y'all for tuning in with another episode of trap etiquette i'm captain kurt and i'm signing off the street, nigga, ain't nobody gon' do shit to us. Everybody always rapping on like we ain't been up. Nigga, I made my first 900. Came off a tank bus. Cause I remember when I ain't had.